ladles and jelly spoons to Kai Mathy's YouTube channel, your one-stop shop for British retro video game shenanigans. It's the first Friday of the month, so that can mean only one thing. Let's find out what the badgers have been up to this week. No, Keith. Now get into that kitchen and rattle those pots and pans. For those of you who have been enjoying Dugatorial, do not worry, it will be back tomorrow. But today is Friday and we are fulfilling our obligation to give you some retro video game facts to see you through the weekend. This week we are looking at Tenshu Stealth Assassins. You are the wind that moves through the air unseen. You are the darkness that goes unnoticed in the night. You are the lightning that strikes unannounced. You are the ninja, Rikimaru. You are the ninja who kills by stealth. You are the ninja who cannot be stopped. You're the ninja needs to sneak up on some of that dog poop in the backyard. Tenshu stealth assassins live by honor, kill by stealth. Released in 1998, Tenshu Stealth Assassins is a third-person stealth action video game developed by Acquire for the PlayStation 1 published by Activision in the West and Sony Music Entertainment Japan in the East. That is not a typo. It was published by Music Wing of Sony Entertainment. You know what else isn't a typo? The sad fact that this game does not appear in our Sony's book. Right. 2023 lad, it's, it's not been your year has it? The debut entry in the Tenshu series, the game follows Riki Maru and Ayame of the Azuma Ninja clan as they complete missions for their emperor Lord Goda in Sengoku era Japan. The gameplay involves the player guiding their chosen character through missions, the aim being to remain undetected either whilst avoiding or quietly killing enemies. Although the game came out in Europe with a 16 ages and up rating, it didn't stop it being put on the infamous German index that being a list of video games and other media that it is illegal to sell, make or advertise in Germany. However, there are a few caveats to that. The index is split into lists. If a game is on the E list or A list, an adult can still request to buy that media. If your game ends up on those lists, it is referred to as under the counter. But if your game ends up on the B list, it is completely illegal to sell or advertise. These games are usually on the list due to excessive violence depicted in the game. For those of you who have been with the channel long enough, you might remember that a while back I did a playthrough of Tenchu Stealth Assassins. If you're newer to the channel, you might not have seen it, so please do consider giving it a watch. There will be a link in the description down below. But tell me this, have you ever played Tenchu? If so, what do you think? Are you like me? Is it one of your favourite games on the PlayStation 1? Or were you not that fussed about it? Stealth isn't really your type of thing. Yeah, Let me know in the comment section down below. Japanese actor and martial artist Sho Kasugi is responsible for the main character Riki Maru's motion capture, as well as providing all of his Japanese voice work. His son, Kane Kasugi, was also involved, but as to which capacity. Official accounts vary. Sho's official bio states that Kane provided the motion capture for the second character, Ayame, although the game's closing credits only credit him with providing the motion capture for the antagonist character, Onikage. Whilst this fact is virtually unknown in the West, other than for astute readers at game credits that is, it was heavily promoted in its native Japan, going so far as to even include a pretty rare making of CD with snippets of motion capture sessions as a special bonus for people who pre-ordered the game back in 1998. Now, while it's true that uh, Tenshu Stealth Assassins does not appear, sadly, in Tony Mott's book, A Thousand One Video Games You Must Play Before You Die, it did come number 54 in Game Informer's 2001 list of top video games of all time. So, you know, think on that, Tony. Huh? You know what else is true? Hmm? Yeah. Our young Kai did a retro review of Tenshu Stealth Assassins some time ago and I'm sure it will mean a lot to him if you give it a gander after this video. Now it's his early work so go easy on lad. You know, it's all very well as telling you about other videos on the channel. You know what you really should do is subscribe to the channel. Then we won't have to tell you, you'll just know. So why not subscribe to Kai Mathy's YouTube channel, click the bell and become a chum of Kai Mathy. You can even join our little Discord server, as always, links in the description down below. 
Before the US version was released, there were some pirated copies of the Japanese version circulating with the title Ninja Condemned by God printed on the manual cover. There are some differences between the US and Japanese versions. One example is the animated sequence for the first boss and his bodyguard. Hoodie, 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 hoodie. <coughs> Time. Somebody help! Get her! Get her! It looks like you chose the wrong party to crash. I have come for Ichigoya, but I guess I have to deal with you first. I do hope that you now feel a little bit more in the know about one of my favourite games on the PlayStation 1. If you've made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. And indeed, if there are any retro video games that you would like five minutes worth of facts about on a Friday, then please do put them in the comment section down below. Click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and maybe even share this video out with your friends and family. I have been Kaimathi, cheerio, we shall see you soon.